Jesus Christ, we love you, God. Jesus Christ, your testimony of what Jesus did for you throughout your life, how you seen him, how you felt him, how he was there, is to testify to the world that Jesus is real, so real. And you become like a modern day disciple. Jesus Christ, 1 John chapter 1, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked at and our hands have touched. This we proclaim concerning the word of life. The life appeared. We have seen it and testified to it. And we proclaim to you the eternal life, which was with the Father and has appeared to us. We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard so that you also may fellowship with us and our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son, Jesus Christ. We write this to make our joy complete. Jesus Christ, everything that you went through, you have felt Jesus, you've seen Jesus, you touched Jesus, you've seen him get you through situations that only you could see because it is personal. And when you go out there and you testify to the truth about what God did in your life, you become like John, telling people, like I gotta testify and proclaim the realness of what Jesus did in my life. You walk with Jesus. You talk with Jesus. Jesus Christ, just like me. That's why everywhere I go, I proclaim the testimony and the truth about what Jesus did in my life. So you never stop telling people what God did in your life. Please, don't ever stop testifying to the truth of what Jesus did for you. How you touched him. How you seen him. How you felt him. What he used. How he did it. Jesus Christ. And your testimony should be filled with supernatural things. Your testimony should be filled with things that people might be like, maybe that didn't happen. Maybe this didn't happen. It should be filled with that. Why? Because we follow a God that makes the impossible possible. Jesus Christ, and he does it for you. He does it for you, and he does it personally. There's things in your life that God would do just for you that maybe nobody else will see. God will bend the galaxies in half and break open every atom and split every sea so you can see the magnificent power of God, Jesus Christ, because he does it for each and every single one of us in a certain way to get our attention. Jesus Christ, because what gets my attention might not get your attention. What he does for you might scare me. So he has to do things that's going to fit right into how you believe and understand in the way your heart can accept it just cross because Jesus used in my life he would use movies because the beginning when I was a young kid I got influenced by these gang movies Boys in the Hood Manchester Society American Me I wanted to be like them I wanted to rob stores I wanted to be the shot caller in prison but throughout my life I watched other movies and and and, and God would use that I watched Electric Boogaloo boo, 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 uh, and God used my popping to fight against them demons uh, uh. he beat the devil on his own battleground the devil tried to in influence me to be some Something I never was supposed to be, but God used everything the devil tried to use against me. God used it for good. Jesus Christ. And then he used this movie, The Transformers. Jesus Christ. And I will see these angels come into my life and transform into these ultimate indestructible beings from God. Jesus Christ! And they say, Mike, you're like us, like a transformer. What? Yeah. Why? Because God's transforming you in who you are created to be. Jesus Christ! Maybe people might not believe me, but it's okay because that's how I touched and that's how I seen God. How was it for you? How, the more, let me tell you, the more supernatural your story is, the more people are going to be blown away and it's going to get their attention. Jesus Christ. And maybe even if they're like, oh, they're crazy. They didn't see that. It's all good because it makes their head and their thoughts turn like, maybe it did happen. Because if it's real to you and it happened to you, your testimony testifies to the truth of the magnificent, supernatural, powerful God, Jesus Christ, that lives in you. 
and then you get to proclaim and then you get to testify and then you get to tell people how you looked and touched and felt the power of God Jesus Christ how you fellowship with Jesus throughout your whole life but if you don't say it nothing don't happen don't be afraid to tell your testimony and be a modern day disciple Jesus Christ I tell pieces of my testimony even if people laugh and say it's not real I still tell it why because I want people to know the love of God I want people to know that God loves you so much that he will meet you right where you're at he will meet you in your imagination he will meet you in your heart he will meet you on your on the streets he'll meet you anywhere that you allow him to come into your life he will meet you there Jesus Christ you open up to God and he'll be the world that you live in he'll be the thoughts that you think he'll be the air that you breathe he'll be the beating of your heart he'll be the things that you see Jesus Christ if you look at the world through the wisdom of God's eyes, you will see him in everything. Jesus Christ. And God loves you. Jesus came to this earth to defeat sin. He came, he lived, he got beat, he got punched. Because he loves you so much. He's so crazy about you that he will meet you right where you're at. And he wants to help you. And he wants to get you there. And he'll show up there. Jesus Christ. And his blood washes away your sins. His sacrifice. Was the ultimate sacrifice. So that you could turn to him. And say Jesus. Help me. Jesus Christ. ongoing cleansing because we are not perfect but it will continue to cleanse you and wash you and keep you whole because he loves you Jesus Christ remember your testimony testifies to how you walked talked felt seen smelt Jesus I remember I would smell Jesus like a sweet smell Jesus Christ Whenever I'd walk by roses or I would smell like the, the beautifulness of like the trees, I would be like, God, that's you. Jesus Christ. God bless you guys. Tell a testimony on how you met Jesus. Because you're a modern day disciple. No matter how supernatural and how unbelievable it may sound if it happened to you and it led you to Jesus, and now you're living for Jesus, then it really happened. Jesus Christ! Jesus saves. Jesus.